I gather, Ricardo, that um, the, the, the president of the Senate is now on. So if we could, um, you could go ahead and start with that. Good afternoon, uh, Senator Morris. Hello, good afternoon. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm well. Thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, Senator Morris, we've been having a discussion here back and forth, and some of our listeners are asking. So let me start with this question. Is there a specific standing order of the Senate that grants the president the authority to request the suspension of a senator? Well, uh, the president of the Senate has um, authority in terms of how the Senate is run. Mm -hmm. And uh, the standing order, um, one, is the president, uh, well, not one, I think the it's two that speaks to the um, authority of the president in the Senate. Yes. And then it also speaks to um, how the, the um, Senate operates, which is which deals with 41 straight down to 43, which deals with disciplinary action and so forth. Right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, the, the president of the Senate can make a request. Mm -hmm. um, of any member in the debate who present in their debate um, a document and yes. just to for 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 verification. Okay. Uh, no, Senator Morris, there's also a conversation as to whether or not it was just and right to have a vote to suspend Senator Malahu for it in her absence. How do you respond to the criticism that it was unfair and in breach of natural justice? I sent I sent to, to call the member twice. I sent to call the member twice, um, and she absented herself from the Senate. I called the first time I sent to call the member. She was downstairs in the canteen, uh, um, having lunch, and she indicated that um, she. She, when when the marshal went downstairs, she indicated that uh, she um, received the message because she was watching it on the television stair, the mm -hmm. television in the in the canteen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, by the, um, the, the the marshal returned and gave me the message, and by this time, uh, Senator Skeffrey was yes. uh, wrapping up his presentation. So I sent back the member, uh, the, 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 the marshal, to the member uh, to indicate that uh, we are going to adjourn the sitting now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she should uh, make herself available to present her with a letter. And uh, uh, the marshal returned with a message from Senator Malawo for to that she, uh, I can go ahead and um, adjourn the city, and she will get the letter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time, Senator Morris, that you are requesting the suspension of a senator since sitting in the president's chair? Yeah, uh, well, you know, I tell you, um, on Thursday, on Thursday, the said uh, member, uh, what well, I had moved for suspension, um, because in the debate there was a point of order by Minister Golding for uh, the word uh, mockery to be removed from a statement that was made by the member, and uh, um. I requested um, that she, that it be removed, and she refused. And the sitting orders are pretty clear. You know, when the when the president of the Senate gives an, a ruling, that you have to adhere to it, and um, she refused, and. Um, you know, I, I made the request on, on on more than one occasion, and I had um, I even had to suspend the Senate in order to uh, have consultation with the leaders 
and uh, you know when I returned, you know, I there was no um, uh, uh, agreement when mm -hmm. I suspended the Senate, and so I had to um, uh, adhere to the standing orders. But Minister Golding, Minister Golding pleaded um, for uh, the member, and uh, so we. We aborted this, the, 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 the suspension, but there was a caution mm -hmm. for the member based on her conduct. Right. I even made the statement that was carried in the papers that, um, you know, I don't want anyone in the Senate or elsewhere to believe that I'm a quote-unquote doctor. Mm -hmm. That was Thursday, you know. I caution yes. the member. Right? I caution the member on third about her conduct. Because her conduct was on us the science. So I mean uh, I, I I would say that would be about the second time that I was moving. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh all right. So the I, I don't know if you're aware, but the um the JLP's area council one has moved a unanimous motion requesting that the opposition senators, it was moved today, do not return to any sitting of the Senate, all eight of them, until you apologize to uh, Mrs. Malahu for it and withdraw your suspension. And I, I want to ask you, Senator Morris, in the grand scheme of things, because we know that, that there's a political... That I apologize to her? Yes. For what? For the suspension, because they believe it was... Um, as I said to you, a breach of natural justice. Okay. <laughs> I, I haven't seen or heard of that. Um, yeah, yes, man. I'm sure it will come to your attention soon. They pass it today. But what I really want to ask you about, though, is in the grand scheme of things, because we know uh, that this debate is fraught with political landmines. And I wanted you to weigh in on whether you thought, in the, as I said, the grand scheme of things, it was a good idea for to suspend an opposition senator, seeing that the government really, really is going to be in need of at least one uh, senator from the opposition to vote in favor. Doesn't this suspension essentially mean that the entire CCJ debate is effectively over, that we will not have the CCJ as our final court? Well, well I, 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 I don't know what the, the final outcome uh, will be, but, you know, I want you to bear in mind what I said transpired on both days that on Thursday what transpired on Thursday mm -hmm. and I ended up cautioning the member yes and on Friday the same member repeated her defiant behavior mm -hmm. and what now I would be sending to the country in terms of the operation of the, the, the Senate. Um, mm -hmm. By to just allow any uh, contemptuous behavior to um, operate in the Senate, then there would be no need for a standing order. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you this, Senator Morrison, because the argument out there, it, Morris, sorry, is that you, you know, were I, I, somehow... I, I, hold on, hold on, you know, I um, yesterday, mm -hmm. when I agreed to come onto your program, there were a number of questions that I wanted to, that the gentleman spoke to me about that we would speak on the program. And um, I, whilst I am prepared to answer any question that you want to, um, to ask, but, you know, I just wanted to make it known that I came on the program to deal with uh, other issues. All right? Or absolutely, and, and, and we're so guided. But one of the quest, the argument out there, Senator Morris, is that um, you were somehow pressured by your government senators to sanction um, Senator Malahu Fort. How do you respond to that? Sure. Um, uh -huh. Again, I will make reference to what transpired on Thursday 
and remember that it is a con it, it was a continuous it's a continuous debate on a bill so the, the, the discussion is running uh um as if you know it was one day yeah because um it, it, it's a carryover from Thursday eh? mm-hmm. so I mean having uh, having a government member pleading for the member on 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 Thursday and the the, 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 the behavior being repeated on Friday I can't understand how anyone will say that can say that I I I um, was pressured by a government member to take action against, against the member. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. called the member, you know, I sent and called the member twice. And all that could have happened if the member was having lunch. Right? Because I have heard elsewhere that she, um, she had the letter because she made a request of three copies from whoever. Right? So she couldn't make it to the chamber at the time. Send the, 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 the letters to, with the orderly you now, the, 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 the marshal you now. Right? Wouldn't you think that that would be an easy, simple thing to do? Mm-hmm. Huh? Don't you think so? <clears throat> Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Senator Morris, let me ask you. Um, you're presiding over the Senate where this debate is happening so far. What do you make of the general contributions to the debate about the CCJ? And if you could just share with our listeners from your perspective as the president of the Jamaican Senate, why you think it is important for us to accept this, this court? All right. I mean, the, um, thus far, I think there are... Let me just try to calculate quickly how many members of uh, the Senate have ca- contributed. I think there are three go- um, three opposition senators and four, four government uh, senators who have participated in the, the debate thus far. And the, the truth is that the debate has been going well um, with contributions from both sides of the Senate, save and except for uh, what transpired on Thursday in the, um, uh, in, 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 in the discussion when Senator Malang was presenting and that point of order was raised. But individuals have been making a very good uh, point in support of and against the um the establishment of the, the CCJ, right? I one has to recall the case that uh um came about in I think two thousand and four uh with which saw the matter to the straight up to the Privy Council. Which yes. was led by um, uh, Dr. Lloyd Barnett who, from the Independent Council for Jamaica um, uh, et al. versus mm-hmm. Syringa Marshall Burnett and the and the and the um, Attorney General. And I have yes. to take a very keen interest in this uh, debate, debate because. When 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 the matter was taken to court, and Syringa Marshall Burnett was cited as the um, defendant, it was the office of the president of the Senate basically that yes. was taken to court. So I am fully minded of what uh, is taking place, and the, the based on that, the Privy Council gave, um, there was a certain outline as to how we should um, proceed if we were going to establish um, the CCJ as the final appellate court. And I, I, I have 
gotten, I have read for myself, I have gotten um, legal guidance, I have uh, read what Dr. Lloyd Barnett, who took the matter to the Privy Council, and what he has said um, about the, the court, and he is very supportive, right? And based on that, I mean, I... I believe that we are on solid ground in terms of uh, um, how we are proceeding, one, and two, uh, um, getting the, 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 the um, opposition, uh, supporting the, 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 the CCJ, getting the two-thirds two majority in, mm -hmm. in, in the House. So I, 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 I am... I, Notwithstanding all that has taken place, I am, I am fairly optimistic, you know, because I have seen a number of entities in Jamaica supporting the, 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 the establishment of the court, and I, 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 I believe personally that it is um, the right way to go. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, Senator Morris, will you put the matter to a vote if the opposition senators do not return to the Senate? Well, you know, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate as to what may or may not happen. You know, there's many a split between the cup and the lid, and you know, I I, I say sufficient unto the day. But you know, I will be vindicated. You know, I have mm -hmm. been I have been vindicated on a number of occasions in the Senate. Um, I recall. When um, I um, referred the matter uh, um, involving the question of membership in the, 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 the Senate, when I referred it to the, the, the courts to, 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 to get clarity, huh? um, uh, there were a number of individuals in the society who were um wondering and questioning uh, my, my my decision and saying that it was a waste of time, you know. Um but we saw the we saw the ruling. We saw the ruling um from the court where the battle is concerned. So mm -hmm. I, I I I I don't make frivolous uh decisions. I am guided by the standing orders. I am guided by the Constitution. And I'm guided by my conscience, you know. Um, and I am a firm believer, believer in God. And I know that truth will stand every time. My mother says, my mother says to me that the truth will float to the top like oil. All right, and I think on that note, uh, we can conclude the discussion. Uh, listeners, Floyd Morrison is the president of the Jamaican Senate. Thank you so much, uh, Senator Morris, for having joined us this afternoon on Talk Jamaica. What a pleasure is mine. Thank you. Uh, listeners, we were just speaking there, as I said, with the president of the Senate of Jamaica, Floyd Morris, giving us some clarity on why he made the decision to request the suspension of Senator Mali Malahu, which is not going down very well with the opposition. Uh, news coming to hand just before we came on here that the JLP's era council, one, has passed a unanimous motion requesting that the opposition senators not return to the Senate until an apology is forthcoming. Uh, Senator Morris says he is not prepared to predict what may happen if they don't return.